Freedom of information documents reveal a shocking number of mix-up in Nambour and Gympie maternity wards. As our exclusive report shows, there's been almost 200 incidents in the past three years, 14 of those reportedly causing harm to the baby. It's the most precious bundle a parent is ever likely to take home. But even midwives are questioning just how safe newborns are in our hospitals. I was involved in and saw cases um, involving wrong identification or medication being given to wrong babies and just thought this can't go on. Freedom of information documents reveal in the Sunshine Coast Health District 187 babies came close to being incorrectly identified given wrong medication or another mother's breast milk. The documents show 14 of those resulted in harm. Well I think one would be concerning so 14 speaks for itself. Midwife Natasha Oglesby says the current handwritten tagging system for newborns is failing parents. She sold her family home to develop Baby Watch, a computerised system using barcoding to track both mum and bubs. To date, the region's health boards have failed to implement the device, which could cost as little as $2 per bed per day. We need to take steps to ensure they're properly ID and protected. The cost should not be a question. In a statement, Queensland Health disputes the documents, saying those figures have been revised. Nambour Hospital say what the figures really reveal is just how accountable the maternity ward is. In 7,751 births, they admit there's been 187 near misses, but they claim just four incidents. A Brisbane private hospital will be the first to roll out Baby Watch next week. Natasha hopes for the sake of everyone, it's the first of many. Alexia Osborne, Win News.